Good morning, loved ones. I hope you had a good night's sleep. I had quite a good one, uh, a crying baby. Well, not actually crying, but an awake baby that, um, that just wanted to hang out. So, so that was um, kind of cute, but I didn't get much sleep, but it wasn't a bad night. Um, again, I'm doing advertising for this brand, Boob Design. It's a Swedish design company for, for pregnancy clothes and, and um, post-birth clothing, which is great for breastfeeding and, uh, and you know, support for body parts that aren't yet back you know, into its, uh, its uh, regular uh, form and strength. Uh, so below, there's a link for the shopping site and uh, with the code MARLING20, you get a 20% discount for all of November 2021. Uh, I'm very grateful today uh, to be in Gothenburg at my sister's and um, I've been getting enormous help from my nieces with little baby G. Um, they they are really taking care of her it's so sweet and and they have their bonus cousins now uh, it's um it's so interesting because of covid we haven't really seen each other a lot and um and uh, the boys and the, my nieces you know they don't really know each other that well yet but the, they are bonus cousins and it's a work in progress tomorrow we're going to go to the amusement park at liseberg liseberg <laughs> Uh, and uh, watch their Halloween uh, kind of thing, you know, which is supposed to be amazing. Uh, but I'm very grateful to be here. I'm very grateful for the journey. Yesterday went quite well. It was um, it was a bit uh, it was something that I was kind of nervous for. Uh, it was the first time in the car with with Gemma and uh, and the boys, which was kind of crowded and loud and um, we had no idea how she was going to respond to a five hour drive but um, it was just i think out of those five hours it was like 45 minutes of crying so <laughs> so you have to give her that <laughs> i'm also very grateful for um for every one of you being a part of my online community and supporting the work i do here it really warms my heart when I receive messages uh, from you where, you know, you, you let me know that practicing yoga with me every day has really changed your lives. That, that is why I'm doing this and it, it warms my heart so much and, and gives me so much joy to read that. So don't hesitate to share your stories with me. I love to read them. Um, I got one today. That's why I, I get reminded of that. Um, let's let's get down on our sitting bones and do some yoga there are like babies and kids everywhere i told everyone to be quiet but we just can't, we can just pray that they will do that uh, roll your shoulders back close your eyes focus on the area between your eyebrows the third eye looking inwards Let this eye observe what's going on in your body and in your mind. We're going to start taking control over our breath on the inhalation. Feel how your belly is expanding. On the exhalation, drag your belly button towards the spine. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. This breathing we're going to come back to eventually, but first we're going to do the breath of fire, 
which we do by pushing our belly button towards the spine quick and fast. Inhale to start. Very good job. We're going to do the hip roll. Inhale forward and exhale back. And we're going to switch direction. Beautiful. Now we're going to come to all our fours. So place your hands first, place your knees straight underneath your hips, place your hands straight underneath your shoulders, and spread your fingers as much as you can. So you really get as much contact as possible with your mat to ground yourself. Uh, point your toes straight back, and all of those things might sound silly you know and I speak about them all the time but when you get into a flow of practice uh, the positioning and alignment is going to be everything so micro bending in your elbows on the inhalation come forward with your belly look halfway up the ceiling on the exhalation come up with your back drag your belly button towards the spine relax your neck relax your shoulders inhale One last round. You step in neutral position, tuck your toes and on the exhalation come to downward facing dog. In your down dog, as usual, <laughs> but we haven't done much down dog in a long time. Uh, micro bending in your elbows, work your hips up towards the ceiling. What you're striving for is to get a straight back. Relax your neck, relax your shoulders. It's very easy to stand like this. 
you want to come down and relax your shoulders. Eventually we're gonna start start getting our heels down, but let's not focus on that yet. From here, I don't think I can do a three leg dog. No, it's too little space here. So come forward with your right knee. Depending on your flexibility, you can uh, uh, increase the angle here. I can't show you because I have very stiff hips, but flex your right foot to protect your knee joint. And on the X and find your root lock and your mid lock and on the exhalation, come down. Beautiful. Place your hands back and come back to down dog. Now observe how it feels in your right and your left side. If there's any difference. This is for me when I've done the half pinion. That's when I can get my heel down. So now I can on my right side. No way on the left side. So we did 12 breaths in pinion and, and that's the difference in my body. You know, that's... That's how I want you to think with the 15 minutes a day. It's the small things, you know, that we do every day. Now come forward with your left knee and come up. Parallel hips, flex your left foot, find your root lock and your mid lock, and then slowly come down. Beautiful. Inhale, come up, come down on your sitting bone and come forward with your right foot placed on the outer part of your left foot. Hug your knee and come over, looking your left, your right shoulder and try to straightening out your back. to the middle and just neutralize the other way and then we're gonna do the same on the other side so place your left foot on the outer part of your right leg make sure both your sitting bones are grounded if they're not straighten out your right leg hug your left knee place your left hand behind your back and look over your left shoulder neutralize the other way and then we are going to all those uh, feeding pads <laughs> we keep I, I forgot so I got to the supermarket and bought some that weren't as good as my regulars <laughs> but it's just for a few days um, straighten up your back Close your eyes, focus on the area between your eyebrows, the third eye looking inwards. During this short meditation, let your third eye take you to a room 
in the area around your heart. In this area, you find an inner room where you spend some time just for yourself. There is nothing that has been and nothing that will come. It's only you in this moment. Shanti, place your palms together in front of your heart and inhale to start. Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Place your palms to your forehead with the same beautiful posture today. To your mouth for you to speak the truth and to your heart for you to follow your heart and to be kind to yourself and to others. Namaste. Now they're like swinging at her baby nests. I can see that she's in she's in the in the <laughs> arms. <laughs> they're teasing me, bastards. Okay, I love you guys and I'll see you tomorrow. Remember to go out there and get bye.